This is the new Boeing 737 MAX 9, now fully playable in virtual reality in Aerofly FS4. We are going from Hamburg to Amsterdam, you are going with me, let's start the engines. First things first, let's close the DC bed switch guard, which sets the battery switch on, and there is no other way to play a flight sim than in virtual reality. Look at this, fantastic. Now if available, we can select the ground power. Uh, we can turn that on over here. There we go, and that will turn on all the displays. And now we are going to fly all the way to the rear part of the overhead panel and we set both IRS switches. Let me just double check here. There we go, we set them to the nav position. This one as well. Love the sound effect and that will uh, I hope you can see it, align the displays over here. Fantastic. And we fly once more all the way to the rear part of the overhead panel and we need this. Check the sound system. The stall speed warning. Yep. And we need this because this is the first time I will be flying this plane and it will go wrong for sure. All right, let's start the APU. Let's uh, push it to the start position for three seconds. There we go. Pushing the uh, APU gen switch to on here, left and right. I set the yaw damper switch to on, turning on all fuel pumps, arming the emergency exit lights over here, and I set the fastened seat belt switch to on. In the overhead panel, all the way in the back, I turn on all the window heat switches. There we go. Hydraulic pumps to on. I will set the flight director to on and I will change some things over here like the altitude and this is very satisfying to do in VR. Starting up the engine here, putting the engine start switch to ground start over there and that will spool up uh, the engines a bit and once they are spooled up enough I put, uh, I put it in the idle position over here and that will uh, well, get the engines ready here, engine number two and we know when it's ready when this switch is automatically going back. I do the same for engine number one. It's now in the ground start position. It will spool up. Once it's spooled up enough, I put the uh, engine fuel lever from the cutoff to the idle position and that will get the engine ready to go. Engine one. Just one more thing to do here. Putting the flaps in position number 15. That's our takeoff uh, position. There we go. Okay, we are ready to taxi to the runway all the way on the right. Let me get rid of the parking brake. I will speed things up and I will see you on the runway. Alright, here we are. Well, I'm not sure if I'm ready, but uh, everything seems to be cool. Putting the lever here to the 50% mark position, and then when that's good and stable, I push it all the way forward. Keeping an eye on the speed here. Keeping the plane aligned with the runway, which I'm doing fine. The sounds are amazing. This never gets old in VR. Always saying that when taking off. Yeah, the sounds are great. Okay, we are reaching a. Uh, you want to be here rotating? There we go. It's hard on the stick here. There we go. Fantastic. Positive climb rate. Gear up. And yeah, again, I am sorry if I am repetitive, but. Doing this in virtual reality, there's no other way to do it. There's no other immersive way to do it. Just, uh, there we go. Soon I will be able to put, uh, let's do it right now. Flaps up. Enjoying also a little bit of the scenery here while I'm trying to get the plane in the correct. Well, let me just, yeah, check this, okay. All right, uh, turning on the autopilot over here, and then, uh, yeah, it should
should be uh, doing everything by itself right now. I will uh, go to uh, the cruising altitude of 28,000 feet and I will see you there and we walk a little bit through the plane, through the cockpit at least. So, uh, see you soon. Okay, welcome back. We are at 28,000 feet, going 280 knots and as always, let's take a walk through the cockpit. And this is, can only be done, of course, in virtual reality. Uh, I can't really pause here, this is my real life wall, so I can't go through the door. Which is also impossible. But just look at the details here. We can just inspect the plane. We don't have to look at a silly flat screen while we are cruising. We can actually just observe the details here. Look at this. Look how awesome this is. Yeah, fantastic. You can read the things here on the chair. Backrest must be blah 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 blah. A lot of buttons over here. And just yeah, it's uh, it's, it's quite quite immersive look at the overhead panel here as well how big it is and all these buttons I can press I have to watch out with what I touch every little knob switch can be turned on and off so uh, yeah just cruising to Amsterdam right now let me get back in the seat here and while we get closer to Amsterdam I will uh, let's see if we can catch the glide slope I'm afraid I'm not but uh, yeah let's hope we can at least land Alright, we're going final into Amsterdam over here, and just as expected, I can't get the autopilot to work. Uh, I'm, I'm cringing, I know, you probably know, you're watching this, you're cringing, you're like, oh my god, this guy doesn't know anything. Yes, I don't know anything about this plane, it's my first time having approach here, we are way too high, let me just adjust the speed here. Uh, sorry, the altitude, let me uh, put that to 3000. And yeah, it's still not going down, so uh, let me just do it like this. And uh, I will have to take over control very soon here because, I mean, we are aligning with the runway. So that's, uh, don't have to worry about that. The only thing I have to worry about is the glide slope. And I don't know how to activate it. Uh, turning on the other autopilot, but that doesn't seem to work at all. So just I, I'm just trying things here. I know I should read things about it. But, uh, yeah, really curious and excited to learn more about this plane. As you can see here, it's... Yeah, I don't know, I have a hard time just getting this plane to do what I want it to do. At least, like I said, it's aligning with the runway. Speed-wise, I can put the flaps a bit down, so that will... Uh, we're going a little bit fast. I would like to go up around 170 here, I, I would say. But I'm putting the flaps down here, that will... Uh, create some drag soon we will be uh, just putting down the landing gear as well um, I'm just figuring out what I can do here let me just let us go to 2800 feet and as you can see over there I mean we can look at the lights there we need two red lights two white lights putting the flaps a notch down gear down here create more drag all of the sound design. I mean, the plane is great. It has a lot of detail, especially in VR. It is fantastic. It is absolutely fantastic. And what a huge cockpit. But it's hard. And right now, I don't know what it's going to do. Suddenly, it's... Oh, wait a second. No, that's the... Uh, the auto thrust. Okay, we are at around 170 knots. That That's nice. All right. Um... Yeah, I will have to take over. I will have to take over. And we are doing that without a hotess. Flaps a bit more down, create more drag. That's fine. We are going to use our bare hands here in order to get this plane down. Yeah. Uh, let me put it to 2000 here. Get us down. I am sorry for the bumpy ride here. I will be happy if I at least I can get this plane down, but yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. So. Alright. Let's take over. As you can see, my own hands. There goes the autopilot. And here, I have to do it myself. So, I won't be talking as much. Lucky for you. I will be quiet. 
Well, it seems that we are having a good... Well, we're doing fine. I can also not follow the diamonds. Uh, if I had to follow the glide slope over here, I would crash into the ground. It wants me to go lower and lower, and we are way too low. Let me get up a bit again. At least, again, at least we are aligned with the one way. But my, 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 my. What a pain. What a pain if it doesn't want to do what you want it to do. But... Seems that we are going... Okay-ish. I'm happy that the auto frost is working, so we don't really have one thousand. We have to don't. We don't have to care about the uh, speed here. All right. Let me put on the lights here. The landing lights. Seems we are a bit low, to my for my feeling at least. Five hundred. Five hundred. Too low terrain. Uh, we get these weird messages. Too low terrain. It doesn't know that I'm doesn't know that I am landing. Too low terrain. Plus hundred. Too low terrain. There we go. Too low terrain. Fifty. Or too low terrain. Ninety. Ten. Touchdown. Ooh. Ooh. Bit bumpy. Okay. Reverse. Oh, I need to hold one ray, I think. What the hell is that thing that in front of me that came down? Breaking, breaking, holy moly. Okay. Oh, we made it. Can you believe it? We made it. Not the best way, the worst way you most likely has, have ever seen. What is this? Nice little touch there. Woo, we made it. I'm sorry, guys. That I can't show you uh, the way it should be done. Just wanted to show you the plane. And I think I have done that. And it's quite a pleasure to fly it in VR. Let me stop it here. Let me clean up. Uh, flaps up. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this bumpy ride. I hope it gave you a quick insight in what the plane has to offer. It looks great. In virtual reality it is an absolute pleasure to fly. Just look at the details here. And uh, yeah, I just hope to see you uh, oh in the in the next video. I I will be taxiing to the runway here or to the to the gate here. But yeah, see you later, boys and girls. Ciao, ciao.